Aquarius, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a centric rock star seed and I have another intuitive message or any kind of message. I don't know what's going to come out, but keep in mind, take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Is it sunny where y'all are? It's real pretty where I'm at. Okay. Divine Masculine. Let me pull your coat for a second. With this opening the heart and deep connections and water, water blessings. This number eight, <clears throat> this divine masculine. Sits with somebody sits with their eyes closed a lot. A lot. You can even be a life path number eight. This divine masculine. And then you got this opening heart, this deep connection, water blessings. Could be a master number eleven. What am I gonna do with these two? What am I gonna do with this this opening heart? This open heart. I don't know. You got flirt. You you can extend. You have I've extended my lighthearted energy to her. I have a lot of passion. I allow my my heart to. With her, it, it, my heart sings with joy. Never did a honeymoon. Enjoying the bliss of time together. Or every time I'm around this person or think of this person, it's like going on a honeymoon. I expressed my love. I went ahead. I made the romantic gesture. Worth waiting for. I thought it was worth it. I felt like she was always optimistic about love. You know, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. She always had good advice, like calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Like she, she kept saying that. And romantic feelings. They were real and worth exploring. And divine timing is at work in your love life. Because he has to be. And this is a past life relationship. We've known each other before. She was trying to tell me all this stuff. And it, I, I kept thinking, wrong time. This is the wrong, it's not the right time. Clarity. When I split the deck. Clarity. There's an eagle on her head. Planning, releasing, illusion. Circle of eternal dancing, timeless dance of life. Life is just life. I don't know where she get that shit from, but she, she <laughs> that shit keep replaying in my head. So the the energy I get from Aquarius is very different from the the divine masculine. Not that they're on different pages, but the way she's holding up with an open heart. I just feel like the Aquarius, you're in you're in a place and space where this could be your masculine energy, like your moon sign could be a fire sign, like Leo or Aries or Sag, but Leo or even Aries. And I just I feel like You're in a place and space where whatever the whatever the blow was, you wasn't whatever whatever the blow was for you, or whatever the insult was, or the attack was, something that that just that was designed, and it was all due humanity and common sense. You're supposed to feel some type of way about it, but you what you're deciding. Maybe God spoke to you or somebody close enough to you spoke to you and said, don't say nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't say nothing. Just enjoy the fruits of your success or you're celebrating or 
you're happy you're about you got a lot going for you. you got a lot to lose you got a lot at stake you got a lot going on and you're just like don't put the attention on you don't want the attention to be on you but you rather your generosity is like i'm not trying to be like malicious you could be in a public's eye or something it's like yeah i don't want i'm i'm going about it this way strategically because i my, i'm taking the advice of my mother i'm taking it me the reader is saying it too like i can, can, can i can connect with that when you're when you're under it's like uh, um, when you see the judgment card in a traditional tarot deck, it's like everybody's coming up like like the day of resurrection, like everybody's rising up and speaking out. This is something about you being a, in a space of evolution, in the, the transitional space. The, it's a winter void that comes with that. And you're, you're led not to say nothing. Because everybody who's coming out is going to be like poisonous energy, like a serpent, like poise, poison, like poisonous. What they have to say is going to be it's going to be hateful, it's going to be evil, it's going to be nasty, it's not going to be nice, okay? And it's going to take everything in you to be quiet through all of that. But it's your power to declare your independence to be detached. You're you're practicing a lot of about being detached, okay? And it's like, even though the public is relying on me to, to publicly speak about it, I'm going to be generous and, and share my, I'm going to take my generosity and say, just make it a general mess, like make it a general thing. If you notice in the Aquarius readings, that's been happening for like a week. Just do, just, just do general messages for everybody, like do it for everybody because I just need to be, I never had a chance to, to grieve my mom. That also connects with me as the reader. I never had a chance. I never really had a chance to grieve my mom. My mom's not here. And I don't I don't have the chance. I never had, just in her absence, I never really dealt with it in a way. Could be a grandmother or a mother or a mother figure, whoever the mother figure is, whoever the, the, the leader, whoever the person you looked up to. It could be, it can even be a big sister. It could be a broad interpretation. It could be a long time person, like a, a elderly or older big sister type of mentor type of person in your workspace, in your neighborhood. It, I don't care. Take it how it resonates. There's something about it where people are going to speak against you and you. I, and it's like, this is my time. Life happened so fast. I had to go with the flow so I could be successful to maintain success, to sustain success, to get it, not only just get it, but to achieve it. And I didn't really had time to really deal with my emotions about, about that. So I take all my generosity and all my, my kindness and just like, don't, don't fixate on me. Just do, do, do it generally. Like this is Aquarius way of showing up for the people being being kind to people even when you can't show up don't expect don't i don't want to tap into any of that i don't want to touch on it i don't want to deal i don't want to deal with it publicly i want to deal with it on my own terms so you are asking Aquari aquarius is asking to be in solitude it's saying i'm going in solitude open heart deep connections water blessings emotional blessings i still want to be a blessing even if i need to be on my own for a while i still want to be that blessing for you even if i need to be on my own for a while that's what i'm getting so it's it's either it's the your masculine could feel like that and you could feel like that but you're happy Aquarius is still happy. Look, this flew out. Innovation. New creations. It's and the number 20 is there, which is which would be the judgment card. Sir, when I see the, the card circle of eternal joy at the dance with life, it's just 
the dance with life is like no matter it's like going through all through all the right the wrongs the indifferences you still need to be human through all of it you have to remember you're still a human being you're still allowed to feel things you're still allowed to go through things like you still you're not imperfect just because you're you're on a public platform you're not nonetheless clarity releasing illusions you don't want people to be confused about you. You always want to be rigorously honest with people. You always want to want the people to know they can always count on you being real with them. Okay. Even in this deck, you got the, the heart of a lion. Because you do. So what's all this? All this, this, I don't know if it's mess or not with the flirting and like somebody is like they sitting with their eyes closed thinking about, um, about you, about life. Life is just life. While you are innovating and creating different ideas. You have a more, and needless to say, you have a clear mind. You have a strong hold on what you work through, what you need to work through every day and you're making new creations it's something about your pain you're making something out of i feel like everything you've been through okay so how does the mother message relate to me that 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 really that's talk, that's my grandmother that i'm talking about for me but she still was my mother and i blocked it out when she died, I blocked it out. I never dealt with it. And I don't know if I, it's because I'm made to deal with it without people or I couldn't trust people. Not at the time. And I didn't want to trust people with that because that's such a sacred space. I still don't trust people with it. But now, all this, all this time later, now I'm starting to deal with it. It's probably good that I'm on my own, but it's, it's, it's good that with the open heart, like I'm taking accountability about, about it. So what do we have? Past life relationship. Your life is going in such a steadfast, like you got such a bright and promising future that you created on your own against all the odds. You got a lot going for you. But it's something pulling at you with the open heart. You got the divine masculine card because you're like you're active. You you're proactive. You you get up and go with this king of wands right here. But you can't help but notice like your deep connections. Like there are a lot of some with past life relationship. You just need, I think you work so damn hard. You, you're, you're being spiritually led or divinely led to hold, to deal with that, to grieve. And see, and, and it's not out of place. You just, you need to do it. It'll never be. It's like an addict, like the story of any addict of any kind. You know how they have the 12 steps for the alcohol and the narcotics anonymous. I feel like that should be more widespread to anything that's an addiction for you. Because it's a beautiful program that helps people tap into their inner star player. Once they hit their rock bottom, people go in and out of that program a lot before they're really ready. Like you're gonna know your rock bottom when you when it hit when you hit because you ain't gonna be able to get back up. It's gonna take some everything in you, everything you don't have in you or feel connected to at that moment to get your ass back up. And that's what most addicts deal with when they hit their rock bottom you don't have nothing else you can do there's no more resources no more chance after chance after chance 20 30 years i don't care how long it is there's no more chances to just say i'm gonna take the break today i'm gonna do it tomorrow you're not that that depression is is over it's like you done maxed out all your chances you got to hit that rock bottom now it's time now because God gonna make you do it. And if you don't do, and then when you do it, it hits you. So it hits you in a way where you hit that rock bottom where you don't have no, no other way to go but to get your ass up. That is a rock bottom. I don't know if you felt that or not. And you're like, people experience it 
in different in different ways in your life. So for all this, it's like you looking at yourself like I'm a nine of pentacles on my own and a ten of cups on my own. I come in gentleness, you know, it's like innocence, it's an innocence about you. Somebody, you know, you could feel some predatorial energy, but by way of somebody who just in a, a different space than you, but know you at the same time with that kindred spirits. You should listen to God tell you that I need you to just not say nothing. I need you to not do nothing. You got all this. Nine Pentacles. You got all this. You see how she's sitting there and reading a book. She probably wrote this shit based off of what I'm talking about. Something. She got her wine. She don't want for nothing. And then behind, what's behind her is that King of Swords. Like, she probably wrote that shit. She's intelligent. But you do got a king. I can't help but notice that's a man behind you, you know, who, who, has, who is well aware of who you are. And then you got a Five of Swords behind him. A real petty ass energy behind him. So it's like you're gonna have niggas, motherfuckers, I don't care. You're gonna have people rising up against you. It may look like this masculine is rising up against you. You may feel like every people turned on you. But when that in that winter void, while you're you're led to evolve, that is meant for you to be quiet through all that shit. Don't say nothing. It may not be true that this masculine is against you, but they did something to go against you. And you saw it. You didn't get angry. You just said, okay, let it ride. Because it's got nothing to do with my spiritual journey, my relationship with God, what he's blessed me with, business the business i'm a part of the business i have to do for myself it has nothing to do with that it has nothing to do with you this is what we chose and that's what it is you're not letting nobody disturb your peace with the clarity the music muse of the music with that circle that dance of life it's a melody someone likes your rhythm and that eloquent speech, that innovation. I hear you can say the things you have to say, the things you could speak on can bring, move people to tears. Okay. You have become the perfect stranger to everybody and everything you know, because you're different now. Nobody, people don't, are not going to recognize you. I don't think people recognize whoever this masculine energy that's following you around, they don't even recognize him at this point. Like, he's becoming different. And you have the open heart. Like, you, you're not going to, you can't let, because it's open, you got to move accordingly. Because it's open. Now you got to be careful. Because you're famous. That could be metaphoric. Because you're famous. Now you got to be careful. Because you're you're richer. Now you gotta be careful because you have a, a a a soul a soul recognition with somebody. Now you gotta be careful how you move. You day with all this innocence and gentleness that come with you and how it resonates with you and the other person or what you, whatever the abundance you have by yourself or and or with someone, you gotta be careful. I see partnerships. Everywhere you turn is partners. And that could be signs and synchronicities for you. Everywhere you turn is two of cups or, you know, you see the, the, this, like everywhere, everything is pointing at partners every, and it could be like enough, the, the two of cups and what's under that, the ace of cups and what's under that, the lovers and what the fuck, the justice. And then there's the moon and the ace of wands and the ace of swords. I did not shuffle this deck. I just see it like the, the will of fortune. And then there's the Eight of Cups. What is that? Knight of, Knight of Pentacles. This person may be on this journey for a long time. 
maybe in solitude for a long time, the seeker. Something in his in your absence is propelling this person. All that worrying and stress. Oh, that's that was the King of Wands. Okay, that that's that person. Okay, that's this person. I don't know about you, but this reading has a strong message for somebody, but it also, it, it has a lot of urgency. Someone's moving with urgency. Cause I see this queen of this, I'm sorry, this king of, this is the king of wands too. There's two of cups, all the aces, the queen of pentacles. Someone's expecting you to be fucking upset, in tears, mad, mad disappointed they really believe you're disappointed with the two like look at the order of the cards two of cups ace of cups because of the king of swords is somebody who's highly intelligent emotionally intelligent they're nothing dumb about them they're not dumb they can play dumb with the best of them but no they're not dumb they know it's two of cups ace of cups lovers all them cards justice the moon like What was done in, in secret is going to be exposed. And this is you in that dark night, that winter void. That's the angel of the night. So communication is blocked right now. While you go through that. Because it's about to be a spiritual war. Nine of Wands, somebody, this a fight. Four of Cups and the King of Cups. What they expect you to do? Just later, bored and apathetic, not paying attention. And they go, your king. He keep coming up in all these different... What I feel like, you done saw... Three different kings. The only king that didn't show up is the king of pentacles. And, and these are different decks. And the reason I say that this king keeps showing up because we have the divine masculine right here. And then you have your opening heart. You're more connected and not in the 3D. You're The least amount of connection you have is in the 3D. You may not be around this person like that. But he talks to you in your dreams in your sleep, in your premonitions, in your thoughts, in your tele telepathic communication, spiritually. It's a lot of, uh, like, two, they're very connected. That's what I see. But is this really about the masculine or is it about you needing solitude? Okay? Or does this masculine need solitude? I'll tell you what, though, some of you are so talented. It makes good music. It makes for a good song. And it's some of you are mass communicators with the muse of eloquence. You're very, very fucking intelligent. Well, someone think they're hip to you, but be prepared. The six of wands. Somebody's need to for somebody's need for a win. I just need to win. I just need to win by any means necessary. I just need to win. So that's where the attack may come in against you. And it needs to be made public. Somebody's a deep, somebody is a diva. Somebody's well-rounded, fucking irate, pissed off. Whatever. Whatever it is with that nine of wands. That nine of wands is here. Block, communicate. Like somebody is trying to win the war. It's, it's declaring war before they've actually won it. It's not their battle. What do I mean when I say that? The person declaring war doesn't know enough. And what they do know, they can't take that shit. Okay? So what the hell? You got this two of swords here and a blockage. And that's the blockage in communication. And there's a dark night of the soul. Okay, and then you have this. This is very tempting with the art of persuasion. There's going to be full on antagonism, there's going to be 
I, this ain't petty. This is not going to be petty. So what I feel like is this divine masculine. Although you have this open heart, this divine masculine is like, oh, no, 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 no. This, we can't have this with the nine of wands. He, he may be quiet with the two of swords. He's blocking communication to diffuse the situation, diffuse it. And it's dark night of the soul. So maybe somewhere in this dark, the angel of the night, like you experience a lot of like dark stuff or tapping into your darker side. You're starting to realize things. There's some things in, in you that, that's, that you know you need to heal and you're fixing it. But while you're fixing it, that's, called, that's gonna bring an evolution. And then the evolution, somewhere during the process, you know, new levels, bring new devils, as they say. Someone's going to try to, like, knock you back down. The King of Cups, Nine of Cups, yeah. And the Five of Pentacles. This ain't even about other people. This King of Cups know who you are, and you know how they, they feel a way. They feel some type of way with this King of Cups and Nine of Cups and Five of Pentacles, like... You can't make me leave off of me. Five of Pentacles is like. Okay, so this person, this Five of Pentacles is fucking irate. You mean I've been standing here alone the whole fucking time? And they go to Emperor. That's not a match. You got it. You're you're pushed out the way. You know why I say that? Because look at the look at the cards. You got your king here. Here's the king of cups and the king of wands. That's passion. That's love. And the emperor. He's here. Even you are experiencing a knight of pentacles. It's like the knight of pentacles showed up in this deck. Who was it? Which king showed up in this deck? You got the lovers in this deck. That's that's the and the justice. Someone knows with the justice card, following the lovers, following the moon, they have to clear their name or they know that what is going to be exposed, that's blackmail, emotional blackmail. If this person is married but separated, that's coming out to blackmail this man to not do this, this, not do this. This is spiritual warfare because you got the ace right there and the two of cups right there. Okay. And then the ace of swords is right here. And then the will of fortune, the eight of cups. Like this person, if you leave, this person made this motherfucker offer. They, they didn't want, if you leave, if you ever think you're going to humiliate and embarrass me like that, and mm -hmm. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. He may be reluctant and, and slow to, to walk towards what's right, what God may be telling him, not what somebody else is trying to tell him. But the Seeker is right behind that, and that Nine of Swords, like he know what he has to do. And the King of Wands is here again. Yeah, the floodgates are open. And this is that time of season, tis the season to start exposing what people do in the dark and all the people that that they stepped on to get to where they need to be is speaking out. Like you see the thing with Sean Combs, you see the thing with Harvey Weinstein, and it may not be as far as like predatorial in that way or predatorial by way of I always get what I want with the King of Wands. I'm good looking. I, it's not hard for me to get what I want. And the devil is right behind that with the Queen of Pentacles. Like they... They, they didn't they know how they built abundance off of getting what they want not it's not hard to charm somebody out of what they need and there's a serpent is that a serpent or some kind of snake or something right there right there and it's, it lit up I never saw that till this day the seven of ones see someone is going to publicly and proactively boycott 
what what this divine masculine feels, what he what he wants to do, what he may want to do. So you may think. So these attacks are coming at you. Some of it may not be avoided. Maybe it is. But it's a spiritual war. They don't know you. They don't know you and your spiritual connections with the open heart and deep connections. You you know the most high through right, wrong, or indifferent. You know, because he, you know, he that's your closest friend through everything, not the divine masculine. Uh -huh. Okay. Queen of Swords. You see how she's organizing, diligence. Like she feels like she has enough information to say, okay, I can make, I can strike. Someone's trying to, to win a war, declare war before they've won it. And under they, that's the moon. Something was well, somebody should have never said that shit. Conjuring up some shit. Like, be careful what your tongue say. Talking about conjuring up something. That's you and your um and your energy. That Queen of Swords, don't say nothing. Military silence is your is your greatest weapon right now. Even if you want to do something with the divine masculine card here, the act of the action. That's an action. A masculine energy takes action. But you also have receptive energy here with open heart. Somebody's trying to bury this motherfucker. Look at him in handcuffs. This is jail. Whether well, this is a ten of wands, spiritual jail is oppression. This person know that they're act proactively being oppressed with this public Vic trying to publicly. Okay, so this is why this person is not or feel like they can. They feel like they can't because this public embarrassment this is like public knowledge now somebody's doing this shit on purpose okay so let me see what else the four the four swords call a truce it's easy for you to go out there and fight with them. The moon wanted to come out anyway. Knight of Pentacles with the painter. Somebody is not stopping with this masculine. Whatever they think they know or who they think they know or, they're going, or they have gotten to know in secret with the moon, they're going to try to fuck something up. Let's see this. Knight, Knight of Pentacles, this is like three times now I've seen this card. And then you have a match with the King of Swords. Okay, so this King of Swords is in a space of oppression. The Queen of Swords is in a space of diligence and research and building. Building something that's stable, that's solid. And there you are. There go your energy. Aquarius. Nobody could play dumb. Everybody know what the what why the who the what the when the where whatever. There's gonna be a completion. While somebody's power hungry, what is that? Four of Pentacles? For somebody's four of pentacles, that possession, that power, or you hold, you hold the power. And the four of wands is a completion, is a graduation. You see they're throwing their cap and get. Okay. I feel a sense of peace with the four of swords and truce. I feel like you call the truce instead of reacting, instead of rebutting what was presented to you. And what was presented to you is a, a, a blockage of some sort by way of communication, by way of action. The Knight of Swords. 
Yeah, it came, it came in kind of fast with the hair in front. That could be the most high. So what I feel like is even if you made if you made an error, even as you deal with your errors of judgment, you do so in a way that you're still protected through your errors of judgment. Here go to Queen of Swords again. What is going on? That's a Queen of Swords to another Queen of Swords. Ace of Swords. Shit. Okay. It's a Queen of Swords to another Queen of Swords. And here's the King of Swords in oppression, in the space of oppression. Because, uh, okay. Somebody reacted before they was they wasn't thinking. Even with the Knight of Swords, that's quick on your feet. Somebody just reacted. So this Queen of Swords that's meeting you with the Seven of Wands, that's the judgment that's coming towards you. Conjuring somebody who's conjuring up some shit. Like I'm not dumb, you're not dumb. Okay? So whatever you think you can say that's so smart, that's so so clever, so witty. I come with some shit too. But here's the thing. You're trying to win the war before you declare it with the seven of wands. Like she got she's she's actively, she could be trying to turn people against you. She's actively thinking she's turning people against you. And in secret, like she done conjured up some shit. Like she she may not have had the heart to do this shit until now. Like she's when my says somebody's fucking upset. Like that's that's what it is. And this you. Miss you, Miss Miss Queen of Swords, you fuck yourself. Look at this, look at this. Okay, look what you got. Look who's backing you, the Ace of Swords. So even if you fucked up or made a mistake or whatever you did or whatever you're doing that's offending people or offending somebody, you're, look, somebody call, you call on one source and somebody called on a different one for war. This is a spiritual war. Okay. Okay, okay. And that same quick on your feet energy, both of y'all got it. Both of y'all do it. With the with the vic because there's a victory. There's a victory for every and you just gonna have to wait and see. With that four of swords is retreat. Don't say shit. And the six of wands. It's public notoriety and victory in that Knight of Swords. They got more to lose. Everybody feel like they got a lot to lose. So this King of Swords that's in oppression, a lot of swords energy. So everybody's met with a challenge or met with some kind of truth and clarity, met with, okay. Seven of Swords, God damn. <laughs> Bro, that, that, damn, that is strategy, wit. Okay, I gotta outsmart every fucking body. I gotta find a way out of this shit. He's in a space of oppression behind all this shit. Okay, and the Seven of Swords is like, well, put that mischievous energy to good use. Let me outwit. Somebody who's trying to outsmart me and overpower me with the wands is action. That's fire energy. That's action. So, okay. Now I got something else. The premonition is the masculine has an open heart. And this mother and this person is like actively like masculine energy is like take action like i'm coming for you i'm coming i'm poking the bear i'm embarrassing you i'm humiliating you i'm gonna say all this crazy shit against you i'm gonna do everything to oppress you to mentally challenge you that is this king of swords that's what this king of swords is doing with. All because, all because of this. Why? You want to know why? Because of the kindred spirits and the innocence. He has, look at this. He has this with someone. I'm not sure if, 
okay. Even though I shuffled the cards, the Hierophant is there again on the bottom. He could have threatened or abandoned a union based off of his true feelings. And it's not like he did it with someone, but it's going to be made like you did it. You use you use someone to embarrass. You use someone to embarrass me. You use X, Y, Z to embarrass me. You knew that. How could you? Remember? Top five. I cannot believe you did this shit to me when he had a relapse. He said, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll make it up to you. He like he started apologizing endlessly. And then he got to listening to what she was saying. And he realized, wait a minute. You don't give two shits about me all this time. It was about you gaining a victory. You dig what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's game. Like, the game master. I want to be famous, but I have no talent. I don't tell jokes. I don't sing. I don't write. I don't have all that fizzazz. I'm not the cat's meow like that. So I did it the best way I know how. I fucking hustled that shit. You know, every time I sucked your dick, that wasn't it for you because I knew at some point I'm going to need you to do something for me. That's why I kept doing all that shit to draw you in. So you could not refuse what I need you to do for me. You owe me. There. There. That's what it is. He said, do you hear yourself? You're addicted to this shit. I got to get there somehow, some way. Ah. And what flipped over? The six of swords to the two of cups. More swords energy. When I talk to you, I don't argue. I don't, I don't have all that to do. I don't have any of that to do. He found his peace. He found a person. He found a partner, a life partner, like two swans that come together. They are bonded. They're soulmates for life. That's what he has. And he found that in Rosario Dawson in the movie with Top Five. But in, the, uh, in this reading, this person found something pure and unattained. I mean, it's not charted nobody tamp is not tampered with i don't want that shit to be tampered with i could look i don't mind looking like the biggest fucking asshole in the world if that means protecting what matters what's peaceful for me i'll deal with the oppression like that's the that's what this is like i'll deal with that shit i will deal with that shit i'm gonna find my way out of it though like i ain't stupid i just gonna sit there and let you just fucking drag me but i'm taking a lot of the heat now he's taking, so this could have been somebody who was selfish at one time, or only think of himself or come off that way, or just unavailable. And now it's like, you got an open heart and you got the audacity to not share it with me after all this time. I was standing here alone the whole fucking time. Well, he was standing there alone. That's because this person felt alone the whole fucking time. And the person could be like projecting the shit on to him okay but he but he's perceived as a liar a thief and a cheat but what he really is is strategic and not letting the left hand know what the right hand is doing and someone thinks they got one up on him maybe maybe he didn't i mean you know you can't tell everything it's, just, it's like robocop kanye west robocop it's like you, if you ask, you get mad when you know, so just don't ask me no more. I told you it's just some things you just don't need to know. He said, like, shorty kind of crazy, but it turned me on. He said, like, you're just a spoiled little L.A. girl. I don't know if somebody's from L.A. or not, but there's somebody who he's just like, okay, okay. Like, I just want to, like, relax and bond with you. You want to fucking argue. Then you got Remy Shan, Burning Bridges. And I'm going to put all them songs in the playlist for this reading because it was a slow to build up, but that's because there's so many goddamn elements that it's just a lot you don't know or I don't want you to know. I don't want you involved. Even Michael Corleone ghosted Kay when they attempted to take his father down, take his family down. He had to turn into a, he had to transition, transform into a different person. 
You see all these different elements that you're very much connected to this person. And, and the only king you don't see is the king of pentacles because the king of pentacles will be the most tangible one. So you may not be around this person like that, but you're spiritually, emotionally, and telepathically connected to this person. So he still talks to you. He still keeps it's natural to keep up with you because I knew you before I knew you with this past life relationship. But I also have a codependent one too. I have a codependent lifestyle that I have to deal with. Addictions are affecting your romantic life and I can't retreat from it. I have to face it. I have to face all that shit. So you continue to love yourself first. Okay. The time has come to clear your energy. That's for him. He has to clear his energy. Whichever one of y'all is connected to be able to give you the fair chance you're supposed to have. But this is like, I think this part is for you with the forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Because you met somebody, this could be the one. You've already met the person you're supposed to be with, but there's deception. Someone's wearing a false mask in a relationship. Someone wants justice. This other queen of swords wants justice because it's like, who the fuck are you? I don't know. What are you doing? You got all these different elements. This person spent all day trying to figure this. I've been trying to figure this out for X amount of time. And it's a different, it's like somebody got Gemini in their chart. You could ask 10 different people about a Gemini and you're going to get 10 different responses. They they, they they have very a lot of layers to them. But so does, Aqu so does Aquarius. That's why their partners in crime a lot. You all, you see a, a Aquarius and a Gemini together, they go together real, real, real hard like they do. But listen, with this deception, it's like who you showed up as, it doesn't mean it was a lie. It just means you met me where I was at and that's where I was at. And that's the fuck and that's what's it. Okay. It doesn't mean I'm not any of these other things too. I just don't, I don't tell everything. Like I know what I can and can't say to who I can say it to. Like I, I'm strategic with that seven of swords. Like I can't show you the peaceful person, all this chaos. That's not fair to you. But then you chaotic, it's not fair to me to show you that I got a peaceful side to me that I like to, I'm, I'm sharp. Like I'm, I'm sharp in other ways too, but you don't know what to do with that because you're fucking RoboCop. Whoa. But very soon, though. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. What I want... is no more attempts on my overall well-being. What I want is for the deception to stop. You don't love me more than I love you. You may be a little obsessed with me or obsessed with the challenge that I come to the table with because you cannot outwit, outthink, outsmart, outtalk me. I don't bend. I'm stubborn as fuck. I don't break. I don't let nobody push me around. I don't let nobody tell me what the fuck to do. I'm a very sweet person, but I am in my bag right now. I'm in that dark night of the soul. You may think that's just me being a fucking asshole or a devil or something like that. And it's not even that this time, not this time. And intuitively, or tell and intuitively, intellectually, this person's not dumb. They know it's not just you being a devil. You're different. Something about you, you're different. I said that earlier in this reading, like you're very different. Now this person completely shut down. So even if you think you you got this, you, maybe somebody thought they could persuade your person to do some things, and they still have the mask. I have to hide my open heart. I'm pissed off now. Now, if I'm not a happy camper, nobody's going to be a happy camper, okay? As I was revealing my innermost self to you and the bond was deepening, this romance of a lifetime, as much as I deserve love, I have to let go of the control issue. The issue is allow the situation to unfold naturally. That's what got me out my ass in this shit in the first fucking place. Letting the shit unfold naturally. Everybody has control issues or some element of a controlling issue. Maybe it's fear-based. It's insecurities. A lot of insecurities. Because there's a mask. If you're not free to be authentic, you shouldn't even be around people like that. You should be working on yourself. But that's 
too much like right and it's easier to be empathetic and compassionate with people it's, it's easier said than done and you're not you're not unintelligent you have the mental clarity and you have the ace of swords so you're taking the opportunity and the, the mental clarity of it is what it is okay you don't get mad you don't stress you don't piss a bitch you just love you just keep that open heart with that two of cups and you just travel there's something with traveling with the six of swords you might gotta cross the seas until or stay across the seas stay across the water until the ship blow is hot right now something is hot right now because it's action the first cards was what the six of wands and then the seven of wands yeah somebody wants to, somebody wants to fight and somebody don't want you in the midst of somebody wanting to fight. They'll take that shit for you. If you realize what I'm saying, they're taking a lot of heat for you with the oppression because they have an open heart too. They the two of cups with you. Somebody may get married with married because they got that mask on. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Somebody may do it. And they letting their friends coerce them into doing it. Ask for help and ask for and accept support from others. To put you back in a fucking cage, you do that. If that's what you have. Somebody's not finished with their karmic lesson. This goes back to addictions. Somebody is not done or have not hit their own rock bottom. It's not even about everybody else. It's the fact that you could be going through this with this seven of swords. You have not hit your rock bottom. Not yet. You're not ready. With a deception card, you got you keeping up the facade for any reason or another. That's, you don't even want to know Aquarius or Aquarius placements. You don't need to know. All you can know is that it is what is what it is for you, and it is what it is with them. And that's what being the boss is. You just have to steer the ship the best way you know how and find your pleasures where you can, because life is just life. Okay? It happens. And while somebody wants to piss a bitch, you become more successful. Oh, somebody's mad at you? You're not mad at them for what they do, even if it leaves you out in the fucking cold. Let me see. You're not even mad. Because you're the two of cups and the six of swords. You, you come in peace. Always. Okay, what is that? That's the Queen of Wands. And the Eight of Eight of Pentacles on the bottom, but let's keep going. Yeah, this Queen of Wands is matching that King of Wands. There was a Queen of Pentacles behind the initial King of Wands in this deck. When I was showing the King of Wands, the first one. This masculine has is like, I don't feel like I know you anymore. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. And if the way I landed is on top of that Queen of Wands. I don't feel like I know you anymore. Ace of Pentacles. That's the truth. You probably don't. This person could have outgrown who they once was. Or they just outgrown that, that gray area. I said that in a previous reading. It's the gray area. Now they're ready to come back into color. They're ready, they ready to live in color. You could do whatever you want to do and live in color when you live in color. That's the theme song. Remember from the early 90s? Pull it up on YouTube. You can do what you want to do in love and color. Well, all right. That's game. That's game with the Knight of Swords. Like, checkmate. I'm going to let you think you got me in the bag. Fucking oppressing me. The top one. Shaking it. What you have tore down? With the death card on the bottom. Whether you want to see it that way or not, all this is because of you. It is because of you. Not in a derogatory way, but in a spiritual way. But you get in the backlash of it because of you. All this is because of you. Death of transformation. That's why he's showing up as the perfect fucking stranger. Like, I don't know you no more. I'm going to write a book about this reading. I like the material. 
look, even when I flip the cards over, the lovers, it's because of you. He, he's just as passionate about you as you are about him, but. You may never understand why this person has to move the way that they do, but that's okay. Because he healed, he helped you heal. He saved you. He saved you in a way that he even transformed you. So this is your transformation and a transformation. He's taking the oppression and you're transforming. So he took the heat for you to take it off of you. Okay. That's his way of saying, you understand what he's saying. That's Jack Dawson, okay? And Rose Dawson. Rose changed her name. My name Dawson. I'm not, none of that shit I came from. None of that French shit I came from. I'm with this one. Phoenix Rising. All that drama, all this drama is so you don't get... So much backlash to the point where you can't do business with nobody. Nobody would want to do business because it's too much drama connected with you. So with that seven of swords, that's what he's doing behind the scenes is, is he's, he's taking the heat, more of the heat than necessary to propel you forward. When it could have very easily been, I don't know, both of y'all, I don't know. You could have gotten to a fight with somebody or gotten to a spat or a disagreement with somebody and the rest is history. And he's like, no, this person is going places in life. It's you going places in life and I don't want you to stop. So I'll get there when I get there. Can I have some? You don't want to give me none? Okay, you can eat it. Go ahead, I'm sorry. I want some candy for my son. You don't want to give it to me. You like it? Okay. The fool. Go. Start over. Start fresh. Because this shit then crashed and there's a tower. So faulty foundations tearing down all faulty foundations. Five of swords. That wanted to flip over too. Someone coerced you across a body of water by way of protection. While the Five of Swords is arguments, vicious tongue, cursing of the tongue. Somebody cussed your ass out for filth because of what you did, whatever you did. Transformation. Okay, you come up in a, in a in a positive way, in a positive way, but it's maybe been unconventional because it's un ah! because it's unconventional. You got you got the six of wands again, six of wands, ace of wands, four of pentacles. That is jealousy too. That five of swords and that four of pentacles is like shit. Somebody's holding on very tight to a blessing that they they think they took something from you. That's okay. You know, live your life. That's okay. That's your attitude. Like I, I, I'm, I'm cool with showing up for the people and setting the right example for the people, even if it, it does attempt to paint me in a bad light. I'm still gonna. I know my assignment. I know what my accountabilities are. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm just, I'm, just, I'm still gonna have a smile on my face, as they say. Like I'm still gonna do what I have to do. Because you live in color. You cute. Somebody likes your ass. Look. Very cute. Very bubbly, fun spirit, lighthearted. You anything but a five of swords. All right, so you got to, you're, okay, so the assignment, you got to keep going. You got the mental clarity. You got the green light. You got Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. It's time to go. Like you got a lot at stake here, okay? Remember, a million girls would kill for this, for this opportunity. 
that could even be with the masculine. A million girls probably would try to kill to be with him, but a million girls would probably kill for your position. And there go the judgment finally showed up. Okay? You see? The, and the high priest is behind the shit and then the moon. What the fuck? It go that king of wands again. Okay? When I see this judgment card, it's like you come and you, you got to go through that, that, that once or void, but you can't talk about it. You got to be quiet about it with the high priestess. You know, you know a lot of things. You can't speak on it though. And the moon is also intuition and is also hidden enemies. And then there's that king of wands. Somebody wants you to believe your king of wands is an asshole. This page of cups that's following him around. Okay, whoever this this petty person is, this five of swords that's going around the top of the five of swords, and then there's the empress right there. Okay, they are watching you, heavily watching you. Okay, to see how you react. You see how poised she's sitting. She may look a little tired of the nonsense or the attacks, but she said she never came off her her. She never not assumed the position. That motherfucker watching you. That motherfucker mad. Like, look at look at this motherfucker face. Like, fuck. Three of swords. They feel rejected. They feel played. They feel rejected. The seven of wands. They got that seven of wands again. They protesting against you. You got to defend yourself. Actually, this king of wands is telling you, I'm going to defend you. Okay? I'm going to defend you because he's taking a lot of the heat. So that's like, I'll take accountability for that. You keep going. But yeah, that judgment card finally showed up. Go ahead, keep. Don't look back. You see how she's looking back, and they're walking. They're walking straight, and she's looking back. She got that light on. She's keeping the light on. That means she's keeping her heart open. What that divine masculine? That kind of looked like that too. Look, 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 look. See her? She got that light on. Okay. Poor. This divine masculine, but his his heart is the, he's he's obviously the same way, okay. Like that light. A woman's heart is a deep secret of, of is a deep ocean of secrets. Something about that speech that Rose Dawson said at the end of the movie, as she after she finished telling about the experience. So needless to say, it's an emotional wreck. It's traumatic for everybody. Nobody walked away in an easier space emotionally than the next person or the last person. Not at all. Okay? But there's peace in knowing that this motherfucker saved you in every way a woman can be saved. It's deeper than just saving you from a flock of fucking drama. This, like, think about all that Jack did for Rose. That's what this person did for you. Okay? So there is no letting go. That's a soul recognition. That's the soul recognition, okay? Because they know you. They know, they'll they never not do that for you. Or maybe in the past life, something happened where y'all got split up or something happened to you in the past and he couldn't be there and he carried that guilt. He carried that guilt. He don't want to tell that with that seven of swords over top of that king of swords and oppression, he can't tell everything. He has to be strategic, okay? you nobody, It's like you wouldn't understand. I keep hearing it. You wouldn't understand. Not you wouldn't understand. Maybe the surrounding parties, they don't fucking understand. Not in this energy. Not when they're immature, not as a page of cups. They don't pay to tell you that. You don't know what to do with that information. You're going to cause more chaos with the fucking information. Okay? So that that's it. That's what this is about. Okay? You still like your fine ass with the ten of cups. It's deeper. It's, this is deeper than rap. <laughs> it's deeper than rap like this is it's not as easy it's as simple as just spitting bars like this shit goes deep so aquarius is saying you're picking up on what the man said telepathically and what god's saying it's all connected like just just go don't worry about the rest just go okay i'll clean all this shit up for you you deal with whatever you deal with and whatever is just because i think i saw the justice card so there, whatever karmic justice is for everybody is going to be balanced out for everybody. Okay. Aquarius. I can't with you guys. Aquarius said I can't with them. I'm not with them. I'm not. I'm not going to do this. The 
divine masculine is the perfect stranger now because someone probably tried to emotionally blackmail him and said if you don't do this xyz is gonna happen he didn't do it he made him think he did it but he didn't do it something like that okay I'm going to do another, I got to do another reading now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.